In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to really quickly install third-party libraries into your Ionic 2 applications. Now, obviously, Ionic 2 provides a lot of functionality by default, uh, but there will likely come a point in time where you want to include some kind of generic JavaScript library or something like that into your application so that you can access uh, the functionality that that provides. Uh, so that might be things like Google Maps or uh, Charts, uh, library or pouch DB like I have up on the screen here. Uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, the different things you can do with libraries in this uh, video. I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of how to just install them in your application. So primarily there's there's two different ways uh, you'd usually approach this. Uh, one is using uh, ES6 modules and importing that functionality into your uh, application or you can also just use the kind of old school method, I guess, of uh, just using a script tag in your index.html file. So I'm gonna cover both of those examples, and I'm also going to cover uh, how to use types, uh, which is an important aspect of getting these libraries working. So we're gonna start off with the PouchDB example here, and I've got up the uh, setup page here, which describes different methods for installing PouchDB. And so the one we're going to use is uh, this npm one here. We're going to install PouchDB using npm, and then we're going to import uh, PouchD into our application using the ES6 module approach. And so here you'll see that they're using the um, using require here to load in uh, PouchDB. We won't be using require. We'll be using something a little bit different. So I've already generated an application that I'm going to use as an example. So to install PouchDB, all we need to do is run that command there. So you'll just need to run npm install PouchDB. And this will be the same for most libraries you'll find. Uh, it'll just be npm install and the name of the library. Uh, so just check out the documentation for whatever library you're trying to install, and they'll likely have some instructions for that. Okay, so uh, PouchDB is installed now. Uh, so I'm gonna jump into the uh, code for this uh, application I've generated. Okay, so usually uh, if I was going to do some kind of pouch DB implementation, I'd probably um, create a provider or something to handle uh, the pouch DB functionality. Uh, but just for this example, I'm just going to do it directly in the home page here. So what we need to do is add an import statement. And uh, we want to just want to say import pouch DB, uh, just like in the require example here, how setting up a, uh, setting it up on a PouchDB variable. Uh, instead, we'll just do import PouchDB from, and then the name of the, the library that we're using. So we just use PouchDB. So that should now make that functionality available to us. Uh, if I was to just add in an view did load function here, it should trigger once the view has loaded. Uh, if I try to log out PouchDB, hopefully we see something in the console. Okay, so I can see something being logged out to the console here for PouchDB. So that means we're successfully managed to import something, uh, which is good. Okay, so now let's try a bit of a different example with uh, Google Maps. Uh, so this time, rather than installing the library through NPM, we're just going to grab uh, a script tag. We're going to grab the URL for the JavaScript SDK and just add it in a script tag, just as they recommend uh, in the um, documentation here. So all I have to do here is I'll just grab uh, the URL. Uh, we're only going to use this first bit here. Um, we don't need to supply an API key for this test. Uh, if you are creating a uh, real application that you're going to submit to the app store. Uh, you should generate an API, API key and display it here, or rather insert it here. Um, I'll, I won't talk about that here. I'll link to another uh, app tutorial I have on Google Maps if you're interested in learning a little bit more about how it all works. I just want to show you how to get it uh, set up using a script tag. So I'm going to copy that out there, and then we just have to jump into the index.html file and add a script tag. So do script source equals, supply that, close the tag, and that's it. Now with using this approach rather than, uh, say with the um, uh, module approach here with PouchDB, uh, this sort of makes a, this is gonna make a global object available. 
which in terms of the structure of uh, Ionic 2 and Angular 2 applications, it, I think it makes more sense to use the, the module approach and keep everything isolated, but uh, this will work. Uh, we'll have a global object called Google, which we'll be able to access from anywhere. Uh, so then if I was to come in here and I'll just try to log out the Google uh, object here. And we'll just take a look at what that does. Okay, so you can see we get an error here, uh, which says cannot find name Google. This is an issue you're going to run into a lot when trying to install third party um, libraries into your Ionic 2 applications. Uh, since we're using TypeScript, uh, Essentially, TypeScript likes to know everything that's happening in the application. So uh, if it finds a keyword that it doesn't know exists, it doesn't know what it's supposed to be, it's just going to assume that we've made some error there. And so we're trying to access this Google, uh, Google global object, but TypeScript has no idea that it even exists. So it's going to trigger that error. So what we need to do is uh, let TypeScript know that this is a thing that we want to use. Uh, so there's two ways you can do that. Uh, one of the, I guess, the the less preferable way uh, is you can simply add a declare var Google uh, above the uh, component decorator here, and that will suppress that error. Uh, so we'll save that and just check that it actually goes away. Okay, so you can see that the error is gone now, and we'll be able to use Google, and everything will be fine. Uh, but the, the proper way to do this is not to do that, but rather install the types for Google specifically, or for Google Maps. So if I save this again, we're gonna get that error back. We'll just uh, get back to that state first. Okay, so we've got the error again. And what I'm going to do now is install the types. So uh, we can install types for a bunch of different libraries by using uh, this command. So just npm install, like you wouldn't normally install a, a library, uh, but instead use app types and then the name of the types package you want to use. So in this case, that's Google Maps and we want to save that as well. Uh, so obviously what types you install here is going to depend on the library. Uh, so usually a quick Google search will bring up what types package you uh, you actually need to install. But if I run that command now, and then I try to serve this application again, hopefully we won't uh, have that error any longer. Okay, so now the, uh, the type error is gone now and we can continue on. So I guess the benefit of using the actual types is that's going to set up all the types for the, the Google objects related to the Google Maps, uh, which is, uh, I guess taking advantage of the uh, what TypeScript offers in ensuring type checking and making sure uh, variables are being assigned to the right things and uh, in general adding a sort of extra level of checking to your application. Uh, but if your particular library that you, you are using doesn't have a types package available or uh, I don't know, for some reason it's just not working for you, if you need to, you can use that just declare var approach instead. And that's the same for PouchDB as well. If you want to install types for PouchDB, I think it is uh, npm install types, and I think it's just PouchDB for that. Uh, and yeah, any any sort of library, it'll be a similar format with just the name of the library placed there instead. Uh, but again, make sure, you just look it up to make sure you're installing the right package. The exact uh, installation and setup of a third-party library that you're using is going to depend on what the library is, uh, but most of them will follow this sort of general format. Uh, we just install it via npm, import it, uh, install the types, and then you can use it. Uh, some might be a little bit different. Some might not have uh, sort of a, a module uh, approach available. Uh, some might require, even in the module file, some come as their own uh, ng modules for Angular 2. Uh, so you can, you may have to actually set it up and import it in here. Uh, as well as uh, installing it. But for the most part, it will just be pretty straightforward for most libraries. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.